What is up guys and welcome back to the John Key channel. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, it's a little bit of a mess right now in my room, which I call my studio, but not really. It's just a room that is extra and I use for my stuff. So that being said, I thought about currently in the process of taking photos for Cuts Clothing, an awesome clothing brand that I'm working with right now. They sent, they sent over some shirts uh, oh, and there's my light for a review, which that will come out later, so stay tuned. But you can go to my Instagram and see some of the stuff that I've been producing, so pretty pumped. Hi, Addy. So I thought, I want to vlog my process. Hi, Addy. I want to vlog my process in taking photos for this next spread, and so I thought, I'm going to whip out the good old vlogging camera and film my process. So this is it. Don't judge me. It's super dirty. I've been trying to move stuff around, stuff has been in the closet, now it's out of the closet because I need the shot for the shirts. But basically, this is what I'm working with right now. It's really dirty, don't judge, but it's so far so good. Now let me show you what I'm, what I'm currently doing. So here we have Addy, this is all garbage, don't judge me. Hi Addy, how's it going? Good job. And so this is what I've been doing here, let me show you some of the... Uh, some of the stuff I have been shooting. Look at that. That's pretty nice, isn't it? It's not purple, I promise. But look at that, yeah. Oh, that's some other stuff. But yeah, some product photos for, you know, Cuts Clothing. And basically what I did is, I literally took everything out of that closet, which is right there. <sighs> so embarrassing. And I kind of made it into like a mini, mini, almost lighting studio, if you will. And it's down a bit. And so I got my one key light here coming down from the angle above and then just having the shirt just flat, you know, lay flat. So all you can see is that shirt and the camera. So pretty pumped about it. I'm gonna take some photos and it's gonna be awesome. So let's get into it. So basically this is what I'm gonna be doing, right? I'm lining up the shot just like this. I don't know why it's so purple. Uh, maybe it's because my ND filter, but I'm lining up the shot just like that. And so what I'm missing is light at the bottom left. So what I'll do is bring in my young Nuo light and I'll switch it over to straight white. I'll put it right there, kind of angle it a little bit. Wow, this is so bad, so messy. But hey, this is the process. And then I'll have it just like this. And it's, it's made a complete difference, I'll tell you that much. And so, just snap the photo, and boom. Then I'll go into edit it. That is essentially the process of, of bringing photos to life right now. And that's essentially, like that's my process right now of getting these photos. And what I wanna do is just get three, maybe five photos that I really use for the Instagram spread, tag cuts clothing, and go from there. Hi, Addy. So I'm gonna get to it some more and uh, get some more done. So I'll be back in a bit. I should mention something. I'm using Canon 5D Mark IV with a 70 to 200 lens only because, I mean, this is kind of overkill, but I'm only shooting, let me, there we go. I'm only shooting with this huge lens because I love the depth of field it brings out in photos and it's such a zoom lens that it compresses your image so much and brings kind of everything to life versus if I were to use a 24 to 70 it would just be kind of like a flat light image which I don't want. I want it to be buttery smooth so just just so you know. Here's a pro tip since I can't really have this angled it's not able to hold by itself some gaff tape and you just uh just like this, angle it, and then tape it down. You should have the perfect angle. <laughs> so, that works. Okay, so here I'm just gonna try something kind of just, you know, like a flat lay thing, but I don't know how I feel about it. I probably will scrap this whole idea. It's not the greatest, I don't think. I need a bigger table, and I feel like it's gotta be up here to do that kind of flat lay, so I'm gonna scrap it, but I think I got some good B-roll of this. Oh man, I, I actually like this lighting quite a bit. This is actually really sick. Uh, it's actually really nice, I might use this. Uh, okay, so I'm done with the t-shirts and taking photos of Cuts 
clothing. Uh, trusty old camera here. But here's the thing. I felt like I needed more photos, but at the same time, I feel like I don't need more photos, if that makes sense. Because, you know, less is more kind of mentality. And so since I wanted to do, I wanted to get more photos, I, I decided on not getting more because I didn't want to not limit my creativity, but I didn't want to overextend what I was trying to do. Like I set a goal out and I was to take three to five good photos for the Instagram spread, right? And so that's what I'm going to do. Not try to go above and beyond. Like I was gonna try to, you know, put, uh, that's my ring light. Trying to put, you know, the shirts hanging from the ceiling and kind of hanging them, you know, all in free form against the wall. But then I'm like, that would take too much time. But my goal wasn't that essentially. I don't want to create different type of content when that wasn't my goal. And so I think it's, it's important for us creators, photographers to go on a shoot, set goals and like get the shots that you want to get. I know that sometimes it changes and you know, things come up and you have to adapt. And that's all part of being a creator, a content creator, a photographer, videographer, etc. You just have to go with the flow, you know, adapt, adapt to the different changes. And so it wasn't really a change. I mean, it's all me. There's no one else telling me what to do here, but I just wanted to make sure that I was on point and not going away from my specific goals for this mini shoot. So kind of the last thing that I'm going to do is, is this, I have, I have these shirts I have the cuts kind of just folded like this. And so I thought about doing like a like a gift kind of idea where they're laid out like they're laid out like this and they come here, you know, one by one. I'll have to edit it and make it flow nice. But essentially it'll just be that, just one after another, appearing and disappearing. So that's what I'm gonna do next. And I'm gonna set the camera up so you guys can see that portion and Hopefully you learned something from all of this. So let's get started. So I've got a 50 shutter speed. I've got a 5.0 aperture and a 250 ISO. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'll press record, I'll have a focus. I'll let it sit there for a little bit. I'll take this out of the way and then let that sit. Take this out of the way let that sit there, take the shirt off, let it sit there. And then what I'm gonna do is take the shirt again, put it back on here, let it sit, right? So the point being is I'm taking the shirt, you know, away from the next shirt, I will be able to stitch together the footage and make it kind of like a GIF or a GIF, whatever you prefer. So essentially, that's my behind the scenes with how I shoot product photography and cuts clothing. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope something came of value for you. This little one wants to join. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying uh, the office back there because it's always on, we're always watching it. All right, next thing on the to-do list is, sorry, this is falling down on me, but my ring light is just not secured. Next thing on my to-do list is get this room in order, make it a little bit better. We're gonna get to work and it's gonna be awesome. Thanks so much for watching. I will catch you next time on the John and Q channel. Peace. Oh, this light, this light. I feel like there's like angels just singing around and it's glorious. All right, let's get to editing these photos. <laughs>